Hello, Chris from Deechworks. Today we're going to flow test a couple of fuel pumps, the Deechworks 400 and the Walbro 525. There's been a little bit of confusion as to how these two pumps can be compared, and what it really boils down to is the pressure at which the pumps are flowed in order to choose their moniker. Uh, Walbro chooses to use 0 psi, or as we choose to use 40 psi. And the reason we choose, choose 40, the reason we chose 40 psi, is because that is the SAE standard for flow testing fuel pumps, but also it's realistically the minimum uh, pressure at which a EFI fuel system is going to see during standard operation. Uh, another thing to consider as well is you have a high performance engine with boost and you're going to have high load with high boost and that's going to equate to a higher total system pressure. So 80, 100 psi, that's where you want your fuel pump to perform the best. So I'm going to go ahead and take the Wolbro 525 and get it set up in the flow bench and uh, let you guys see how these two flow together. Now, flow testing a pump at zero PSI, uh, we actually had to go in and reconfigure our test bench in order to do that. It couldn't actually do that the way we have it normally set up. So you'll actually see after we get these two pumps tested that we're gonna change the, uh, change the configuration a little bit. So go ahead and turn her on. Let everything normalize. And there we go, we got about 525 to 530 liters per hour on the Volvo 525. Let's go ahead and get this one swapped out. Give me Okay, and DW400. All right, now that everything's kind of normalized, we're looking at about 489 to 490 liters per hour, uh, thereabouts. So go ahead and get that information recorded, and then we'll uh, change that to uh, so we'll reconfigure our flow bench so we can test it at 40, 70, and 100 psi. So do, do 400, we had 490, and the Walbro, we had 530. We'll see you in a bit. The flow bench has been reconfigured for EFI testing. Uh, we've already got the uh, Walbro 525 installed. Uh, go ahead and get it started. We're going to do 40, 70, and 100 psi tests. Record the data, and then we'll swap out the or swap out the 525 for the DW400. Everything settled down a little bit. All right, go ahead and record the hammerage draw. It's going to be 18.5, and looks like we're hovering right around about 1440, or 440, sorry. Go ahead and do 70. Okay. About 21. And 365. Oh, you gotta do 100 psi, buddy. All right, and 0.3, and looks like 295. Okay, back down to 40. Back 
Okay. Forty looks like we got about seventeen point three amps and four hundred fifteen liters per hour. Seventy, I'm getting nineteen point six and three fifty five. And a hundred. I'm at two, 22 amps and three oh, 300. All right, and what we're seeing there is that the Walbro does uh, flow a little bit more down low, uh, but the uh, DW400 catches up and passes at around about 90 PSI, which if you're a high boost application, they're, you're very likely to be in that range or higher, and that's where you need your flow is to be up higher. Uh, we do have uh, third party testing uh, available as well in the uh, link below, and if you have any other questions, feel free to visit us at www.deachworks.com.